All right, this is a demo of how to set up the BAC with M3. We'll go ahead and plug in our BAC. And we'll start our interface. Once the BAC is booted up, we'll see it here. There it is. Okay, we're going to start M3. Go to our settings in the interface. Um, here you would select M3. I already have it selected. Uh, and click Save. We're going to go to the Network tab. Uh, the host IP here should be whatever uh, M3 gives you. Um, so you'll set that and click Save. And if it's connected properly, this light will turn green. And we're going to go to our M3 interface. Go to System Setup, MQTT. Um, this is where all of our topics are going to show up. So right now, the only ones that are showing are the outputs because those are the that's the state that's changed since M3 has started. Um, so we're going to go back here and click resubscribe. And we go to M3, we see that all of the topics that are available have been sent, not just the ones that have changed. Um, so the two that we're going to uh, focus on for this video, just for demonstration purposes, are going to be uh, reset and solve. And then we're also going to show some stuff with the inputs. Um, if I solve it here, you'll see it in update and M3, and then if I go to my interface here and reset it, I'll see that it, it resets. So all this data is getting updated uh, in real time. Um, the first thing we're going to do here in M3 is click Add Story, and we'll call this whatever we want. Call it New Story, and then we're going to go to Devices, Add a Device, Next, we can call it whatever we want. Um, I, Preferably, probably whatever you, you know, you've called it over here. It doesn't have to be though. Uh, next, MQTT compatible device. The topic is going to be the device name. Um, let me open another window here. System setup, MQTT. So all of these start with uh, the device name, which in this case is demo video. You can see that in our, in our interface. Um, and you can also change that from uh, right here. So that's what we're going to call this. Demo video. Don't worry about any of these. You can just ignore them. Click Next. Finish. Okay, now we're going to select it. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is add commands. So the way this works here is this is the, uh, the name of the command and then text is actually the topic that gets sent. Um, so these are all the topics. Um, and these are from the BAC to M3, so they have this uh, get here. When we send commands out, it's going to be the device name slash set, and then whatever whatever the uh, I/O is. So in this case, we're going to call this uh, BAC reset command, and it's going to be demo video slash set slash reset. I'll save that, and then we'll add one BAC. Uh, solve command. That's going to be demo video slash set slash solve. And those are those are right here. Um, okay, so we'll save that. Save. And then now we're going to uh, open up the story interface. So I'm going to open a new window here. Game Master, click our story, and under devices, we'll see uh, this shows up now. And there's two commands here. So one is uh, reset and one is solve. If we click solve, you can see that the, the game solves, so the lights turn on. Um, and if I reset it, it'll reset, and it'll start playing the sequence over. Um, and that's how you do uh, commands. So that's on this side. And then uh, properties that are going to be uh, essentially these values that are getting updated. So if I wanted to, uh, let's say, watch input 6, um, we'll go ahead and do input 6 and 7. Uh, so this is going to be, here the name is the, the topic. Um, so demo video is the name, and then ordering a get, because this is data from the BAC to M3, get, and then input 6. Uh, we'll keep this as a Boolean. And we'll do the same thing for input seven. Demo video get input seven. And change our boolean. 
I'll save that, save it here. Um, refresh our story and go to device. And you can see that uh, these values are now showing up here. So if I hit input six and input seven, you can see them update. And then some, you know, that's just some, some basic overview. Uh, more advanced stuff would be the uh, event. So we're gonna go to, this is under our story, we're gonna go to the events tab, click add an event. Uh, we'll call this uh, reset override, make it recurring. And then for the condition, we'll set device property. And choose our device, and then these are the two properties that we said earlier, input six, when input six is on, uh, then we'll want to reset. So we'll do device, BAC, and reset command, click save, save that one, and then we'll add one more event, uh, solve override recurring when device property input seven is on for our BAC. Then we want to send the command uh, solve. Okay, so now that the way I have this set up is when I press this button here, uh, M3 is gonna send the, the reset command. When I press this button here, it's gonna send the solve command. So there's the solve. And there's my reset. There's uh, more intricate things you can do here. So like, let's say we want uh, when we reset using this override, we also want it to start the timer. We can do that. So we'll start, uh, that would be story state. And we'll set it to running, save that. Go back to our story here. And when I hit the reset button, you can see that the timer starts. Um, the sequence starts here. Um, let's tie in the, the solve state too. So we'll go to, we'll add a new uh, event. And we'll call this on solve, uh, add a condition, device state, BAC. Oops, sorry, device property. Actually, we didn't set this property yet, so we're gonna have to Change that back here. Devices, BAC, add property. So, my video, get, solve. Change it to Boolean, save, save. Okay, now we go to our events. Um, um, click add an event. We'll call this on solve, make it recurring. Device property, BAC, and then there's our solve. And when solve is yes, meaning it's true, we will end session with success. So save that. Uh, go back here, I'm gonna reset. Okay, um, let's start it with our button here. See the game's running and then we'll input the uh, password and you see that when it solves it, uh, finished su successfully. Um, there's a, a lot more you can do with M3. There are objectives, so instead of like solving, you can have one prop, um, finish one objective and move on to the next and so on. But I think that's a pretty good overview of uh, how to set things up. So basically you just, uh, when you configure your device, you, you set the, the properties and the commands that you want to use. And then through events, um, you, you change the behavior of what those trigger and what they do. Um, that's, that's about it.